Hi folks, welcome back. Hope everyone's kept safe and well over these last few days and had a lovely Christmas and New Year. Um I've been keeping myself busy, as you can see, doing um a few uh tags. Quite a few tags actually. Um I've used um a masterboard collage book basically from lots of leftover scrap pages music sheets book pages old bits of newspaper cuttings all sorts um as you can see it's quite quite a chunky book um i've worked on worked using this exercise book from um the works i think it's about 50p or something 79p or something you can get like a pack of them but you can use any old books really you can use old magazines old books are good sizes though of course because it's good to have a good a4 sheet really to work from but anything you can pick lay your hands on you can use this i like because it's got obviously plain back that means i can either journal on it myself or put some lines on myself or if the paper tends to be a bit thin um back it with some different paper and um, i mean i've put all sorts on this as you can see lots of different colorways um i did loads of random sheets of paper anything just to make up a good size sheet um anything you can use i mean this is just music paper and book pages so it's it's the world your oyster really you can use anything this is just cheap scrapbook pages and i know it's a bit checkered board looking but i thought oh well it's used up these sheets of paper and i can adapt them into something else this one is all the scraps all the leftover chunks of paper that you get ripped up off odds and ends that you can't really do a fat lot with so i tore them into like smaller pieces or into little squares and just stuck them anywhere randomly and what i'll probably do is photocopy this and then i can use this as a packing sheet for whatever i choose today i'm going to use i think this one it's quite pastely quite neutral because what i've got are some digis some printables of tina's um she uh, she's from Shabby Dabby Doo on YouTube. Um, these kits come as a digital printout format. You print it out on your own paper, obviously, whatever paper you want, whatever thickness, whatever quality. Um, and then you cut them out, use them, in your, use them in your journals. They're not too expensive. Each kit, you know, can vary from like £1.50 to two pound three pound depending on what you want really um this one's um bella rose i think and then we've got slipper and rose that's this one down here but you'll see if you go onto her website on her etsy shop or on youtube so basically what we need to do is decide what we want to do size wise whether we want to make some little pockets some flat pockets or a couple of little ones or some tags so i think what i'm going to do is start off with just a couple of little pockets and um, to go on the bottom of some journal pages that's folded quite easily there so what I'll do is use my ruler, metal ruler. It's got it's a good ruler, this because it's got a grip on the back. And then 
give it a tear should have tore it from the other side really because i can see what's going on then but that's fine and then this one um we can do the same again we'll tear this down rather than cutting it with the scissors give it a, give it a rough edge i like a rough edge to work with better than a straight cut edge looks more um grungy then i think we'll be able to get three tags or a couple of journ journaling cards and maybe three tags at the bottom yeah and we'll do a fold there then what you can do is uh basically do what you uh, feel like how the mood takes you whether you want to whether you're actually working on a particular journal and you know what colour colour ways you're working with or theme it's good but if you are just making them for random mass makes just to add to your stash so that you've got something to pick choose from then basically you can put anything on any old um designs that'll adapt to most journals i mean my journals tend to all be shabby chic grungy that kind of thing so doing little tags like this to me is the uh, best way forward if you've got any rough edges give them a rip them off or reattach them whatever you want to do and that's a bit rough there so i think we're gonna have to cut this one across the bottom as you can see that's hanging off that's the bottom of the page so get that off stick that in the bin Get some corners. I'll just neaten that up there. It's a bit, a bit on the rough side. We'll get the corner chomper out. No, not the corner chomper. That's a circle, circle maker. We want the corner chomper. That's it. I mean, you can do little corners, or that one hasn't gone quite, quite to plan. To give them a bit of a rounded edge. And this one will probably be the same. I'll try and get it in. Because it's not quite a corner. There we go, that'll do. Cut this one down as well. I'm using the other scissors actually. Those scissors um, seem to have lost their sharpness. Unless I've got some glue on them or something. Or some sticky which is probably what's happened there we go take all those corners down this one's a bit obbly gobbledy as well so we'll level this one off Let's just take the rough edges Actually, it's quite on the goal, it's not straight at all. You'd have to give it a. It's a bit better. It's not perfect. There we go. Just quickly give you an idea, really, um, what we can do with our pages. I hit a bit of a sort of block i suppose as you do you you get sort of stuck in you know you get stuck and you think oh what can i do um you get a bit bored with it all i suppose doing the same thing over and over um so it's nice to work from a base and that's what this gives you the 
the master board will give you an element to work on so you could like look at that and follow on from that pick something that's got those colors in or you know music musical or even like the front one here it's got a, a little otter by the looks of it here so i'll probably use this one and there's leaves up here acorns and stuff and a bit of wildlife i'll probably use this one for a bit of a wildlife journal or a um gardening journal type thing and that's what i'll do with certain pages and then the, the more fussier ones the girly ones you know i could use those in what i call my girly my girly uh shabby cheeky sewing journals or something i found this this is a little um fussy cup from a card making pack i think from a few years ago but i do like it and i thought oh that'll look nice on there because we've got similar colors so yeah that'll that'll go nice so what i'm going to do is get my get my ink give it a bit of a bit of an edge i've gone a bit too far over there if you ink it a bit too much then you can just blend it in like that like it's supposed to be a bit inked up um sometimes i'm a bit over overly uh heavy handed with this um it just depends Cover that bit of white as well. I don't really like the white showing. There we go. Now, what we'll do? Oh, do this one as well. Get a bit of, bit of, bit of dimension. That's what this adds. And you can use um, special daubers. They're um, you can put them on the end of your finger, and they're a lot easier. You can just do that rather than picking up your little makeup brush all the time. No, it's just these are cheap cheap as anything cheap and cheerful get get the job done same way it just take, takes a while to get get you get used to working with them i think what i'm going to do is stick that down the bottom and um, i've actually got some blue lace here i might be able to poach a bit of this not a fat lot just a little, a little smidgen of it, because it's not a very big uh, tag. And just stick that down there like that, and then layer it up with that. Yeah. Um, maybe take one of these little digits of Tina's as well. But I think I'm going to dull him down a bit, because he's a he's a bright blue, isn't he? He's a, he's a quite shocking blue royal blue Let's make him a bit duller there we go now that's what i'm going to do so get the three in one it's nearly out i've actually bought myself some collal glue which is all purpose which is supposed to do the same as the three in one so hopefully I can uh, start using that soon. And we'll get that one on. No, I won't use a three in one for that. We'll just use the color glue for the for the rest of the elements. Anything like this that you're going to place on, if you use a glue that's got a bit of manoeuvrability, then that's great because you can. Do a bit of playing around if you don't quite like it where it is you can push him down a bit or wiggle it about just like that and smooth it down a bit just needs a little bit more glue down there it's actually the lace that hasn't glued so i think what we'll do is we'll plop a blob of this on 
I think this is similar sort of uh, stuff to um, 3 in 1. It's the same sort of um, texture. Right. It's still not sticking. It's not playing ball today. It doesn't want to work. Put that one on there. Hold it there in a bit. Right, then what we'll do is we'll get him on there. Might have him poking out a bit. I'll get some um, tacky glue on this. So this would be us a bit quicker. <gasps> oh, look at that. We don't want all that on there. For some reason, that glue's coming out really fast. And causing explosions of glue everywhere. And the other glue doesn't want to come out. It doesn't do anything. It's always away. That's it. See, that's stuck tight now just because I want to move it. I think it's better over the top. Yeah, that's better. Give it a bit of a, give him a bit of a peel up. Yeah, for some reason that's not um, sticking down there. I'm not sure why, but probably overdone it with the glue. It's probably too much glue, so it's not playing. Right, a few stamps. Um, a couple of bluey, bluish ones, hopefully. Get my hands on a blue one straight away. Canadian one. Right. Get this on here a little bit. Just enough to adhere in. I'm going to put that there like it's uh, at the top of the corner like they usually are. Sometimes I just put them anyway, it doesn't really matter. Get one of um, Tina's little uh, images. Little words. And I've been pulling in um, lots of things from my scrapbooking stash. Um, and craft stash and then instead of using the images like you do on cards and things because I'm not making cards anymore um, I'm just cutting the images out like you used to when we was kids and we used to be our mums used to say cut round them Santas and them snowmen to make tags for the Christmas presents <laughs> that's what we used to do um, so it's a bit, it's a bit the same really, similar sort of thing. Um, these have all got words on. These little, that's a nice little, little one. What I think what I'm going to do is chop him down so it's just, just a bit. Actually. I'm going to keep the word, but I'm going to rip the, the rose off. Because I can use the word in something else. But that, like, like that rose looks like it's coming from that rose then. You know, because that's what it's all about. I mean, it, if you you end up with half a rose or half a, half a word, it doesn't really matter. Because that's what it's all about, collage. And these are collaged tags. Um, so there's one. Let's try and get another one done. Um, so I use that. Might use it in a bit. It's a bigger one of that. And here's some little 
always a nice lady, like a lady, little girl. Right, go on that one or that one. I think I'll put that one, that one, because I've got some flowers down here that go with it. So, I'm going to get a bit of... Just dull down that white edge, just a fraction. On the edge there, where I'll fussy cut round. You can see a little bit of the print. You know, with the backing paper. Yeah, I like that. She's going on there. No messing about. I've done quite a few tags today. Um, tried to do a couple of videos. And everything kept going wrong. First of all, um, somebody knocked the door. Well, first of all, the phone rang. So that was it. I had to stop recording because I'm using my phone to record. So I haven't got a camera yet. Um, nice little stamp there. Second one, my son came in with a drink and he was laughing in the background and a bit embarrassing. So I stopped video doing that video. And then the third one, lo and behold, the camera died on me. Well, the phone died on me. So, basically, I've been trying to do a half hour video for the last four hours. In between, I've had my tea, of course. And then come back to it. So, it's quite late now. <laughs> Shouldn't really be in here jabbering away to myself. Well, I don't think there's any neighbours above me. I live in a flat. Um, the neighbours are quite good don't tend to hear anyone above me so I don't think anyone's in the, the bedroom above I think he's uh, just a single person that looks nice that's lovely I like that that is beautiful and then what I'm going to put there is one of the words I did see one of these said beautiful on it that's it that one there that's it. Now I'm gonna get a bit of get a bit of a browny tinge to it. Because it's like a grey a greyish blue. That's better. Get a bit of um because where I've cut it perfect. It's a bit um too perfect looking, too straight, neat. I'm trying I'm trying Buff it up a bit. It's a bit better. I'll get that on there. This colour glue apparently dries um, smooth. So when you use sun glues, PVA especially, your stuff buckles and goes all wrinkly and patchy and it doesn't you know, it needs needs ironing because <laughs> it comes like a bit of a crinkly sheet. Um, I wish I'd put that in an angle. Yeah, that's better. And then I'll chop that off at the bottom. That's it. I like it better like that, like a bit of an angle. I'll leave it to dry though before I start cutting. Because if you use your scissors when the glue's wet, that's it then. Your scissors are doomed for the rest of the night until you can get them cleaned off. Here's some more fussy cuts that I've got from one of the kids. I think it was the garden, garden kit. I can't remember now. Tom Teen's um, Etsy. Yeah, I like that on there. That's good. Now, because these are very delicate, um, I think... No, I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. This is a trick that we've learnt from watching the YouTube channels. I saw it on a lady in America. She does it. 
um, and then Tina was doing it the other day as well. It's a good idea. If you've got to, if you've got to do something delicate, like lace or a flower like this, um, it's ideal. Right, I'm going to get that on there like that. Doesn't matter if I lose, lose a leaf. It looks good when half of it's chopped off. And then do the same with these. You have to work quick though. What's the only problem with this um, on the back of your hand? Because obviously it's drying because it's thinned out. See? Pull that down a bit so it's near the bottom. So it looks like it's growing out the bottom of the page. And now that's all tacky now on the back of my hand. I'm going to rub it off. Be picking glue off my hands all night now. Like we used to do at school. We used to put glue on the palms of our hands and sit there and peel it off. <laughs> that was our excitement of the day. Right, I'm going to pop that one there so it's like another one growing out. But this time I'm just going to put a little blob there. I'm not going to mess about with the glue on my hand. A little bit. Soon rub it off with a baby wipe. That's it. Get that on there. That's where the where the paper's ripped. That is, and it's um looking a bit blank. I mean, I can actually cut the leaves off and put the leaves in. You know, if I think it doesn't look right. Right, I don't need that one now. Now what I'm going to do now is find something that's going to complement this. And I think these butterflies will. Um, I might get these a bit on the big side to be fair. Ah, I like that there. Yeah, that's good. Get this on. I need to chop, chop a few corners off. I don't want them hanging out. See, I'll get that under there, under the leaves, under the petals rather. And then I might get him on there. But what I'm going to do is give him a bit of definition. Bend him up a bit and get me ink. Just dull him down a bit so he's not so bright, so he's not so yellow. Ink the sides as well. Because obviously, when you're peeling up a bit, you might see a bit of the, you might see a bit of the back. I mean, ideally, you'd print a butterfly. On something like thinner paper like some coffee dyed paper or something like that that's got a bit of um, colour on the back and a bit of uh, texture like papery a bit like leaves of a butterfly this is a bit thick this this um, paper I'm being careful with this one because this is the one that blobs out in a big whoa like that. Comes out really fast. Try and squish that one over there. So if it, squish it over like that. Then get that on there. That's it. There we go, it's got three little tags there now. So we'll just wait for those to dry. Move those over a bit and put them over here so they can dry off. Right, what have you got now? I think what I'm going to do with this one is do a little pocket. Actually, it was this one I was going to do a little pocket with. The bottom pocket, I think. Um, Alright, 
so if I fold that there it's going to lift now what I'm going to do is try and get a bit of a oh no I don't, don't think I'll bother, bother doing that I was going to put a red a, a lip on the bottom and lip on and uh to make like a three-dimensional stick out pocket but i think it'll make it too fat for the journal um but what we'll do is we'll just stick that down with a very thin um strip but use the side ones as little little um hinges couldn't think of the word like that and then the bottom uh what's that so it looks a bit because of that paper's going up it looks like that's not straight it actually is because the bottom of the page but the paper is hanging off a little smidgen but I think what we'll do is we get the ink on it on the edge like that. And once it's glued on as well. Plus if it looks a bit rotten, you know, like a bit too skewy or you're not happy with it, you can always put a strip of ribbon or um, a bit of lace across the bottom or a ruffle or something like that paper ruffle or a fabric ruffle right um, because that looks a bit naff there I'm not going to put a thumb hole circle I'm going to scoop it out like that make like a slopey sort of pocket opening um, and then just ink it up a bit like that and this can be put on the bottom of your journal pages or one of your folios stick that on stick the bottom on but it will give it a bit of a bit of depth just so you can get something in the pocket um then what we can do on the front here is put you know a bit of a dimensional butterfly or that looks quite nice doesn't it it's a nice flat imaged flat image roses um these are fussy cuts again from Tina's kit And then I might put him over there like that with a bit of tacky glue. See if he can stay on. Um, what else can I do? Uh, admit one. Admit one tag. Because <laughs> there probably won't be room to get a tag in there. Yeah, we'll have that there, I think. Or in the middle. Something like that. Right there. Yeah. Let's slide it in. Get it under. Is it in the middle or something? Is it? There we go then. I'll leave that to try. Um, actually, what I might do is just dab that off because it might dry a bit uh, sticky a bit, a bit weird now all the stuff sticking to my hands right we're just going to check how long we've been guys right we've been 34 minutes so I don't want to really go on too long so there we've got a little tag there at the bottom 
quite use up all the sheet, but I will come back and do some more. And then what you can do, now these are dry, you can either well, cut off the excess of this tag, but I want to leave the wings of the butterfly and uh, I might leave them. Depends if you're going to use it as a tag that's like hanging or if you want to put it in something. Obviously, if you're going to put that in a pocket, it's going to have to be a wideish pocket to get this in. You know, same. But we'll cut these off. Um, the glue is actually still wet on that. See, sometimes it's you can do that. You can sort of finish it off if you know what I mean. So that looks a bit silly there because like that. So you're not you're using up your leftovers if you know what I mean. Now get your hole punch. Put your hole in and then get yourself a bit of twine a couple of pieces I usually use and um, poke that through Like so, there we go. I've used too much actually, too much twine, but you know, it's just cut that off just so as you can see what it actually is. Um, that one we could use as a little journaling card. We, you know, you haven't got to have it as a tag. You haven't got to put the little uh, hole in it. Yeah, so you could just use it like that or even stick that on the front of something because it's a nice image of a little girl that would look nice on the front of something and that one's the same you could use that as a tag uh, cut the lace off she says with the scissors that you don't want to cut uh, now I'm going to play with all my scissors today they're not um not working. Right then, put a little hole in this one. We'll get some more of this twine. Thread it through. There we go. Then you got another one. So there's your little, your little pieces. Um, sorry about the mess. I seem to have gotten throwing all. Normally I put all my bits in the bin as I'm going along. So I'm a bit, you know, keep everything nice and tidy. Got a little random stamp there that I never end up using, but doesn't matter use it in another another journal another day so there we have it so i've done quite a few today including these as well that i did earlier um so basically now i'm going to pull out my journals and my folios that i've made and see if any of these will go with them if not these will go in the little uh, box of what i've already made up which I'll get out one day and show you. Um, and then we can add them to my journals that I've already done. Well, they're not journals, tell a lie, they're folios. I haven't sort of plucked up the courage yet to do a full, full on journal because I'm quite a newbie at, at the moment to all this game. But I'm enjoying doing all this sort of thing at the moment. Just getting me um, confidence up, really, to. Um, produce something different and something nice anyway guys thanks for watching
and I'll come back to you.